Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On May 6th, the Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police donated 5 million Korean won to the Kyungi Community Chest. This was the entire amount of the prize that the Judicial Police received, half in cash and half in Kyungi local currency, as a reward for the top score in last year's Provincial Organization Performance Evaluations. The donated amount will be utilized for Kyungi Food Bank activities. On May 7th, the third Kyungi Global Forum for Peace was held at the Pangyo Global R&D Center. Held to discuss the new Northern policy and the role of local governments in public diplomacy, this forum saw the participation of 10 local and international specialists, including Kyungi Province Vice Governor for Peace E. J. Gang, Kraskino Forum Chief Director Jang In Jo, and Sanggong Hae University President Kim Gi Suk. One notable viewpoint that emerged during the forum was that the success of the new Northern policy relies on effective public diplomacy led by local governments. Kyungi Province recently launched a pickup and driving tour service for individuals with disabilities. Users of this service are met at their welfare facilities and taken on a three-hour non-stop tour of popular tourist destinations and driving courses. Those welfare facilities that wish to use the service can apply via the Kyungi Province Welfare Support Center for Disabled website, by email or fax, or in person at the center. On May 11th, the funeral for Senior Fire Sergeant Shin Jin Gyu, who died in the line of duty at the scene of a fire, took place as an official provincial funeral. Along with the family members of the deceased, the funeral was presided over by Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung and attended by Yongin City Mayor Pek Gun Gi, as well as more than 90 National Assembly members, local assembly members, and fellow fire officials. In his eulogy, Governor Lee stated that the protection of firefighters protects the public, offering assurances that the province will do its utmost to ensure the safety of firefighters. Kyungi Province recently announced the Hantan River Chromaticity Improvement General Plan as a fundamental solution to the worsening chromaticity issues of the river. This plan will see the implementation of sustainable water management while also improving water quality, the primary objective of the plan, which will be pursued through diverse efforts, including chromaticity improving facility support. The province also plans to identify ways in which to promote sustainable local development through water quality improvement. The online education portal GSEEK will be expanded through the transfer of its real-time online and offline programs to an integrated lifelong education portal. This plan was revealed on May 12th by Kyungi Province Lifelong Education Bureau General Director Pak Sung Sam during his announcement of visions and strategies for the digital reformation of lifelong education. In line with this plan, Kyungi Province will promote non-contact education formats in preparation for post-COVID-19 educational environment changes while developing related city and county level platforms. The Kyungi Province One Stop Financial Welfare Center for Low Income Earners opened on May 10th. This center will provide those facing financial crises with services ranging from debt management and small loans to linkage with welfare services so as to help them restore their credit standings. Located in the Northern Kyungi Welfare Foundation, this center will provide comprehensive services encompassing related financial matters undertaken by the existing center as well as legal and employment counseling and illegal loan victim services. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.